Good morning. Oh my god, I look orange. Hi, Daisy. I'm in Lila's apartment because Lila has really good lighting in her apartment and my number one requested video is to do like a everyday makeup routine so I'm gonna film it here. I'm gonna probably just set you guys up and then sit here and do my makeup. First I literally need to eat Chipotle because I haven't eaten anything today and it's 3 p.m. It's a burrito bowl with brown rice. Oh god, I really went heavy on the cheese here. Brown rice, a little bit of black beans, double steak, Pico, corn, so much corn that like they're afraid to give you that much corn. Sour cream, cheese, nothing good for you. But here's the secret. You ask them for two sides of this little salad dressing and I literally just drench the whole bowl. Daisy, you wanna try it? You like it? She's probably gonna shit herself. Okay. Two seconds, I'll start my makeup. Really quick before we get into the video, I wanna talk about the video's sponsor, which is Scentbird. You guys have heard me talk about Scentbird before. Basically, it's like a fragrance subscription service, similar to like Netflix, but you can choose from, like I think it's over 600 different fragrances that you can choose from, and you just go online, choose which ones you want, and they show up at your door. It's literally $16 a month, and you can choose from brands like Prada, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana. Like, it's like really, really nice brands that you can choose from, and it's $16. You get them in like these little sleeves. They come in these little vials. You twist it up and like just spray it. You can see how much is in it. This one's called Bitch Please. And obviously, it's a lot more than you would get in like a traditional little sampler. Ooh, I love this one. This month I got Bitch Please from Confessions of a Rebel, something called Dirty Hinoki, and Book from Commodity. This one's pink. I love this one. This one's Book. Brooke. Book. Of course, I'm gonna leave a link in the description, but I also have a code. I'll put it up on the screen. It's for 55% off your first month. So that makes it like literally what? like. $7. Try Scentbird, you'll love it. It's my favorite thing in the world and why would you not? Okay, now into the video. This is really spooky. I did self tan my face last night. I usually don't self tan my face. Um, I've been getting clowned for how different the color of my skin, like my body is versus my face and I'm tired of hearing it. Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm almost out of it but I love this so much. I feel like it like makes a barrier and makes it so that the actual makeup isn't like settling into my pores. Okay. I use a lot of that kind of. After I put the primer on, almost every time I do my makeup, I'll take one of these little like, wait, what is that? See, this is why I don't self tan my face, you guys. I'll take one of these like little dermaplaning tools and I'll go over, only down, but I'll go like all over my face and use that so that I don't have like a hairy face. A little more primer. Okay, I'm not particularly good at doing eye makeup, okay? It's not my forte. I don't really enjoy doing eye makeup, but I have, in my opinion, mastered the base. So if you take one thing away from this video, it should be that. Um, this is just the Tarte Shape Tape Primer. I put it on my eyelids, and then I just use like literally the most, I think I've had this brush since like the fourth grade. I just put it all over my eyelids. Daisy, what you looking at? She's so cute, you guys. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know, but Lila bought this dog. She bought Daisy on Craigslist for several thousand dollars, thinking that she was a miniature golden doodle. And I'll insert a photo of what a golden doodle is supposed to look like, but it is not that. Daisy, come here. I love her so much. She's the sweetest, most perfect dog, but she's so just not a golden doodle. Now I'll take a dry, beauty blender and literally just go like this. Don't judge me for how like used it is, but it's like a pad that I use for my translucent powder. And 
gonna like do this. Tana put me onto this little makeup by Mario palette. I don't mind it. I've never really found like an eyeshadow palette that I just like actually love, probably because I just resent the fact that I'm really bad at eyeshadow. But it does the job. I'm gonna use a little bit of this little second color here. I'm just gonna go in there. There's really no talent here. Okay. Now, sometimes just for fun, I'll take my little bronzer. This is Fenty Beauty in the color Island Ting. It's probably too dark for me, but I don't care. I'll put it on like a little brush and just put it right here. It doesn't have to be perfect because my eyes are hooded anyway, so when I open my eyes, my makeup pretty much disappears. But that's a little something. And I'll I'm scared. Who is it? Okay, did you, is there something wrong with it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anywho, Daisy. We have company. I'll do what I can to make it like somewhat blended. Whatever, we'll fix it later. Now this is where I feel like my talents really lie is in like the face makeup because there's been a lot of trial and error and now I feel like I've got it down so is it broken uh we just got one more thing okay <laughs> holy grail foundation is tarte face tape it's like the foundation version of tarp shape tape concealer I put this on literally with my finger, okay? And I don't care what you think about it. The reason I do the finger thing is because I feel like it like avoids wasting product because then all the foundation is just going straight on my face. Keep in mind, my body's always tanner than my face. That's why this doesn't match, but listen, we're all a little flawed. Oh God, okay. We can fix this. Easy. Easy send baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daisy, relax. They're they're friends. You feel like I've been blending forever, but it's very important. I'm definitely more of a full coverage girly because I mean you guys have seen I have freckles and I've still not figured out a way to like let them show, so I just fully erase them. Now, concealer, I'm gonna use the shade Medium Sand in Tarte Shape Tape. I literally have every shade you could possibly imagine of this concealer. And I feel like I don't use that much, I just do like this. Yeah, I just use like that much of this and I'm gonna probably put it all over my face. I have under eye filler, so I feel like I don't use as much concealer. You're probably like, bro, that was like a lot of concealer. And I literally blend it all the way up to the point where it's like on my waterline. Cause it's like a little white eyeliner. Okay, now I have like a fully flat face. And then tried and true, baby. Nothing touches the setting powder and I will never, ever, ever stray from you, my baby. I have never used a brush for my translucent powder. I always use one of these little pads. I feel like it just makes everything stay exactly where it's supposed to. I don't know, really there's no method. I honestly use a lot of this. And for some people that's scary because like no one wants to look, I'm so sorry about that noise. Um, a lot of powder scares people sometimes because it like, kind of shows how much makeup you're wearing, but I'm gonna show you how we fix it pretty soon here. I actually just realized that I had forgotten like literally the most important part of my makeup routine at home and I have my roommate literally driving it over to me right now. I keep having to change the angle a little bit just because of the lighting through the window, but you get the gist. So we're gonna have to replace your toilet. 
Oh, that's but perfect. I have to order it, so. Okay. I'll see you in a couple of days. All right, I'll let her know. All right. Thanks. Of course. Have a good one, you guys. Lila, my girl, you need a new toilet. <laughs> I'm losing the lighting here. I gotta be faster. Okay. Fenty Beauty Island Ting Bronzer. This is definitely really dark, but since I've been so tan lately, I feel like it's been okay. Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush. Oh, what's going on there? Uh oh. I'm not the most talented when it comes to this part because I don't really know where my cheekbones are. I do a little bit on the top of my nose. I know some of you guys hate this like literally more than anything on the planet, but I like it, so. Also do a little on the like jawline situation, but this is always where things kind of go awry. Now Molly's on her way here with the most important component of the entire routine. I'll be right back. I got it. When I tell you that this is the most important item I own, like if my entire world were on fire and I could only bring one item with me, it would be this. I know the whole time I did this routine, you guys were thinking like, wow, Brooke, that's a lot of foundation. That's a lot of powder, but this, brings it all together. I completely wet my face, like to the point where it's like almost dripping. And it's the key to making your skin look like skin again because it all kind of like melts together. Also, I do this before I do blush or highlight or anything like that because any of my like shinier products I feel like should go on when it's like my face is already set. Now, I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's like my face isn't powder anymore. It's like back to like looking a little bit more like skin. Obviously, like the, like I said, it's not like a natural makeup tutorial, so it's still gonna look like I'm wearing makeup, but I always get compliments on how my skin looks and now we're almost done. Laura Mercier blush in the shade Peach. And I'm using the same brush I used for my there. I'm just putting that all over. It's a little shiny. I love a good shiny blush. I love just like anything that makes my face like a little glowy because I don't know why I just do. I definitely did go a little crazy with the tip of the nose situation, but I can always go back and fix that a little. Laura Mercier came out with like these other setting powders that are like colored. This one's like a dark pink. And this one is like gold. I'll put some of that on a brush and like put it on my cheek. I really do kind of go crazy with it. You can kind of see what that did, but it just like, here. It's like really pretty. I mean, obviously that's kind of a lot for like everyday wear, but I am a lot, so. I'm gonna take that same little pink powder and I'm gonna spray some setting spray on my hand. Get a little bit of it on there. And put it on my eyes. I just recently started doing this, but I just feel like it looks pretty. Okay, okay, okay. I will usually take any, like a paper towel or something and get the foundation off my eyebrows, but honestly, I'm so lazy. I'm just not gonna do that right now. I don't fill in my eyebrows a lot. I just like do like the little sparse parts and I just use the little like eyebrow color on this Mario palette. I am so not a brow girl. My brows never look quite right. I've never had a day where I'm like, wow, my eyebrows look amazing. Might have gotten a little dark with it there, but. Same brush that I just did my eyebrows with and I'll do a little bit of a situation under my eye. I'm gonna wing it out a little bit. If I'm wearing my hair down, which I am today, I can't do much of a wing because 
Like I said, I have hooded eyes and it kind of looks wonky unless I have my hair up because if I have my hair up, I like can get that pull. Um, I'll do a little, a little something. I don't do a very good job of this because it's really not that serious. But I just feel like it makes your little eye look cute. I'll use like my little <laughs> pad to just like fix any damage done. Curl my lashes. Dun, 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 dun. I use L'Oreal Voluminous Original. I've been using this since like the sixth grade. I try to make my eyelashes like go back, like out. I don't know why, just for fun. And then I'm using this Benefit 24 hour brow setter, like brow gel. I don't know, like I said, I'm just not a brow girl and I just like, there will never come a time when I am. I just do it because other people do it. Like Brooke, they look terrible. Um. Okay, now I'm almost done. I'm using like literally just the wet, like bare end of this sponge and just pushing it all together. I'll do bottom lashes a little bit. We are nearing the end. Another Morphe product I swear by is this Morphe Makeup Talk Lip Liner. This is like, everybody's always like, what's the brown lip liner that you and Tana always fight over? It's this. I don't do this very precise because I'm gonna put lip gloss on it anyway, but. Literally any lip gloss at all. This one is like one I found at the bottom of my bag. And now my makeup is done. Okay, this is my finished makeup. I'll show you what it looks like in the light. Obviously this is pretty extreme for like daily wear, but I wear a lot of makeup, okay? So that's the tea. I pretty much do a different variation of this same look every day. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less, but yeah. My number one priority in my next apartment is to have like a good lighting and like makeup setup so that I can actually film makeup videos. But for now, this will have to do. And yeah, love you. Thank you for watching. You just sent Bird for sponsoring.